super excited to bring Jim Gerson back. Jim from CareSec. Jim, what's up? How's it going, Dr. Vo? Thanks for having me. Great to see you again. And we have the practice whisperer himself, Dr. Travis Campbell. Travis, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Glenn? Awesome. All right. All right. Well, dude, it's so awesome to have you guys here. All right. All right. So the reason why we got you on today is here's the thing. You guys know about Travis. Travis has been dropping all this great knowledge when it comes to insurance. I mean, he's the practice whisperer, right? But here's the thing. He's also a CareStack user, and we wanted to bring him on to talk about CareStack. But before we get his insights on CareStack, Jim, for those who have been living under the rock for the past year, what is CareStack, man? Explain to everybody who don't, doesn't know what CareStack is about. What is CareStack? How do you guys help us as practice owners really elevate our practice? Well, Dr. Bo, thank you for the introduction. Really appreciate it. And Dr. Campbell, it's great to share this panel with you this afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. And it's great to see the Nifty Nation. It's unbelievable, um, Dr. Vo. We've been kind of working in collaboration now. It's going to be two years, I think, in May or June. So it goes by quickly. Um, so CareStack, I'm not going to give a long spiel. I'll take 45 seconds, if that. We are a 100% cloud-based solution for the complete management of the dental practice. And Nifty Nation, we kind of find ourselves working with one or two practices. The first is having success. They're growing. They're ambitious. They see technology as giving themselves a competitive advantage, and they're just not sure how to get there. They need a little bit of help. The second type of practice, unfortunately, they're not having that kind of success. They're frustrated and aggravated by managing a multitude of software subscriptions that layer on top of their legacy software for things like remote onboarding and paperless forms or they can't give accurate estimates at the time of treatments because the insurance vehicle is broken in their software. And in either case, this gives frustration and aggravation for the dental practice. And if you find yourself falling into one of those two categories, hang out for a few minutes, hear about what we've been doing for the Nifty Nation. And then maybe if you're compelled at the end of this program, um, you know, go into the show notes, find us on the Nifty Thrifty uh, website or Facebook page and book a demo to learn more. So thanks. That's my introduction. I try to stay within 45 seconds. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And here's the thing, guys, if you have any questions, fire away, type it in the comments section. You can DM me if you're, if you're kind of shy, just go ahead and send me a message or also you can send it to Dr. Campbell as well. But so I'm going to shift over to Dr. Campbell here. So Travis, um, you know, you've been using CareStack. Now you're in a unique position. You're in a unique position because you have two practices. One practice is using Dentrix. One practice mm -hmm. is using CareStack. And before we jumped on, you were actually complaining about something that Dentrix does. So share that with us, and then we'll kind of tie it back to the fact that, you know, CareStack doesn't put you through that stuff. So I guess the biggest challenge we've ever had with some of the Gorilla softwares, the ones that have been around forever, is they're always doing updates. But just like Windows, whenever they update something, it tends to break everything. Um, and so, for instance, whenever there's an update, we never do the newest updates because we want somebody else to deal with those challenges. So we're usually two or three updates behind um, when we're with another software. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, here's the thing, you know, everyone's always concerned about, okay, well, if I go to CareStack, uh, it's going to be hard to learn. You know, the support's not going to be there. It's cloud-based. Well, now that you've, it's been almost a year. And you, you've used something like a Dentrix, and now you're using CareStack. Talk about like, you know, how the experience has been, how the transition was, and most importantly, everyone's always worried about this, is how's your team handling it? So we actually did this the worst way possible, so I don't really recommend this one. <laughs> but um, when I bought the office, it was with EagleSoft. I couldn't stand EagleSoft's ledger. Um, so we switched to Open Dental because, you know, Open Dental is the, what, you know, everybody talks about Open Dental. It's free, right? Well, okay. But, yeah, Open Dental was okay. It was working fine. But the challenge we had was our costs for everything that we were doing from, you know, phone support to patient communications to online scheduling to, you know, text to pay uh, prescriptions now that have to be online and stupid policies. You know, it, it added up a lot of additional costs that we looked into CareStack originally to really lower the cost. The office I bought was a failing office. It wasn't making any money. And so we had to reduce the cost for a lot of things. 
And switching to CareStack saved us almost $1,000 a month from all the other stuff we were doing that CareStack now does all together. So not only did I save money, but I also have to write like four or five different less checks per month to other different companies. So it just, it simplified life. So Jim, um, I'm going to kind of go back to you, Jim, because again, you know, Travis was just talking about the savings there and guys, we're in the nifty group, right? So sa saving some money is pretty important here, but it's also being efficient as well. So Jim, this is something that you always talk about whenever you're presenting about CareStack, about how, you know, you use this analogy of like back in the day, we would have like five different devices, right? Nowadays, yeah. we're just so used to having everything on our phone. It's kind of like what CareStack does. So talk about, you know, how CareStack prevents you from spending all this money on all these additional bolt-ons that people who are using Open Dental or maybe using Dentrix or anyone else is having to do to get the other features. Yeah, thanks for the introduction on that concept. So if we rewind the clock, right, 15 years as consumers, we had a different device for a phone, for you know email, you needed maybe a computer, you needed a special camera to take pictures and a GPS that suction cup to your windshield. Now we fast forward to present day as a consumer and whether you're an Android or iPhone, you know, advocate either one of those offers one, all those things in one product, right? And typically for even the most modern Android or iPhone is gonna be a fraction of what all that technology cost back then. And that's the reality of, of dental software. Why do we have to be holding to a fragmented landscape of having five or six or seven different subscriptions like Dr. Campbell spoke to? And so that's what con conceptually drives CareStack is to unify these in one cloud-based solution that you can take anywhere. So if you wanna be able to access your practice on the weekends, you have the ability to do so. So that's what's the driving force behind CareStack is just like as consumers too, Dr. Vo, we're, we're frustrated with the streaming landscape, right? Of it originally it was just Netflix, then it's Disney Plus, then it's Hulu, then it's Apple TV, then it's ESPN, and now it's Paramount, right? What is enough enough? And so that's what's happening. In, and that's what we hear our clients telling us is that they have this subscription fatigue, and that's what we're hoping to address. Yeah, absolutely. So Travis, you know, you actually had talked about uh, the convenience of accessing uh, care stack from home and, and talk about that. Talk about, you know, the convenience of that, but also, you know, you, you have a good idea of where the future of dentistry is going. Talk about how, where dentistry is going and how things are moving cloud-based and how care stack is, is kind of sets you up for, for what's coming in the future. So the office that runs this is a second office. So it's a you know, 40 minute drive from home and I'm not there all the time because it's run by my partner. I just do the business stuff. So it makes it really nice to be able to log in from home and see everything no different than if I was at the office. And the challenge is if I'm running, you know, a server-based software, I have to log in with something like log me in, but then we get a huge delay on being able to do anything through that software because it's got to run through the server and back to me versus cloud-based softwares don't have that challenge. Everything's run pretty fast because you don't have the internal server that's driving the the slower speeds um and i mean it's it's a noticeable difference so i can look up everything i want i look up anything i want it's a lot quicker i look it up from anywhere so it makes it really nice having a second office to do that now you talked about the industry i mean the industry is it's going very heavy dso and for private practice it's going very heavy group practice so multiple locations you know the single private practice office is shrinking. I mean, there's less and less of them every year. And so having multiple offices makes the cloud-based software, I mean, so convenient because everything can run together, especially when you're not there. I love it. So again, you know, it's all about kind of like staying ahead of things and preparing for the future. And again, you know, if you have multiple practices like Dr. Campbell here, uh, you, it's so much easier to just jump on a cloud-based software and do what you have to do than going through log me in because we've all been there. Hey, I have to deal with that too. Jim, you know, I want to bring back, we talked about service, right? You know, Travis talked about the service, how great it was with his team. But Jim, I want you to talk about the commitment to CareStack of always getting better. You know, I, I, we see a lot of softwares sure. out there. The one thing I've always been impressed, and again, this is something that if you guys like what, uh, Dr. Campbell has been putting out, whether it's his lectures, whether it's his courses, whether it's his book, his two books, right? 
Um, I don't know. Maybe we can rope in some kind of nifty deal, getting a couple of books there. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. We can talk to Jim about that later. But you know what I liked about CareStack is their their commitment to getting better. So you know, Dr. Campbell has been on the CareStack University. He's got amazing training in there. We've done the study clubs. Jim, why is it so important for CareStack to continue to push the envelope for you know? People think about practice management software and they're thinking, okay, well, I just use it in my practice, but you guys are constantly pushing the envelope, providing training, providing events, adding new features. Why is that so important, Jim, for CareStack? I think part of it is the DNA of the company, right? And so we, we recognize that the software tomorrow is going to be better than it is today, conceptually. And we started out this journey, you know, four and a half years ago, um, and it, it's wasn't a perfect iteration. And the way the software gets better is from the user feedback. And so I would ask the, your members of this group, if they want to you know, contribute and hear more about CareStack, they can join our Facebook champions group and you'll see the feedback that we have. It's bi-directional. So it's important to find a, a right balance, Dr. Vo, between making improvements and also not overwhelming people with too many releases, right? Because that can be overwhelming and it can, it can maybe upset things a little bit in terms of training and, and so forth. But we are a user-driven software. And because it's cloud-based, like Dr. Campbell spoke about, to make an upgrade and to push it to our users is easier than having to wait for something that's server-based. Um, that could be a download or disks that you need to install, something of that nature. But at the core of the company, it's really, and you'll see in, our, in, the, in the dialogue here in the Nifty group, the way we've improved and gotten better, and I'll give you some great examples. So, um, you know, at the early onset of the pandemic, the user said, there's got to be a way that our, our, our offices can use the check-in process so people can check in from the car in a curbside capacity. And so we worked to develop that and we released it about two months later. They also said, we have patients that are saying, you know what, I don't want to come in today, but I want to have a teledentistry appointment. Can I change that and run that call out of your platform as a teledentistry call? And 45 days later, we had that live and active. Um, an area for us that we're always tweaking and constantly improving is the revenue cycle experience, right? Because everyone wants to get paid faster. They want ERAs to post, you know, quicker and re in real time if they could. And so that's something we're always, you know, constantly working on, but it's user driven, Dr. Vo. It's not, you know, 30 guys in a lab doing this on their own. It's really from our clients that are giving us that feedback. I love it, Jim. I love it. Again, I love the mission. I love the fact that CareStack is always pushing the envelope, always listening to their users and try, trying to uh, better the experience, but also providing the training. So, you know, I just got this message from someone, Travis. So I want to have you answer it. So they were asking, they're like, well, what 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 kind of training does, does uh, Travis Campbell have on CareStack? I'm like, well, I could tell you because I was actually there helping film it, but I'll let the man answer it himself. And also, I'm going to ask you a question right afterwards. So Travis, what What's the training that you did for CareStack? What are the what were what were the things that you were going over in your training for CareStack University? It was understanding dental insurance. I mean, dental insurance is always the number one complaint for offices of how to manage it. And in most cases, the challenges we have with dental insurance is not understanding the process itself, not understanding how to work through it. So what I talked about in CareStack is how to understand that process so that it makes it a lot easier on yourself, your team, and it works a whole lot smoother doing it. I love it. And, and Travis, I'm, you know me, Isham, you're on. I always got to put you on the spot, right? I love doing that. And I'll probably put Jim on the spot later too, because I love that too. So Travis, can when, are, when can we expect you to do another training for CareStack? Whenever you want to book another one. Okay, so Jim, you just heard it from him right there. Uh, he's already agreed. And so for the CareStack users who are watching right now, we're going to get another module from Travis. Yeah, let's, figure, let's figure it out. And I would challenge all the nifty members who are CareStack clients now, lock in the university. You have all this subject matter experts, not just Dr. Campbell. I mean, Dr. Vo, we probably recorded 10 different sessions. I mean, we have Kelly Schwartz, we have Paul Etchinson, we have right. uh, Manal Sampat, we have um, Chris uh, Phelps. Yeah, Dr. Christopher uh, Phelps. I mean, we have so many. And here's the thing too, guys, um, and this that now we're going to put Jim on the spot because he just volunteered himself right there. Um, if there is someone else that you want on the CareStack University, let me know. We'll tell Jim, right? And for those who are you know, on the fence on practice management software, this is another reason to sign up with CareStack because they made a commitment for uh, creating this online university. Because, you know, CareStack wants you to save money, right? You're paying all this money to get other training, but we're bringing 
the Travis Campbells of the world, the Chris Phelps of the world, the Kelly Schwartz of the world. We're bringing all those people into this universe. Paul Etchinson as well. We're bringing them here at the university. So if you guys want to see someone, let me know. And then, uh, and then Jim just already agreed. So we got him on video, so he can't back away there. Well, that's another subscription or displace, right? People are going there on you go. name names, but they join, you know, these universities online to get this education. They're paying fifty, sixty hundred dollars a month, and it's included with your CareSec subscription. So we love for the CareSec clients out there to continue to use it. They are doing a great job, and it's another reason for people who are on the fence to maybe take that plunge. I love it. I love it. And, you know, before we log off, I definitely want to bring up the uh, the CareStack Study Club. And we, you know, the first one, obviously, I want, to, I want to say the first one was always the best, right? The first one, anything is always the best. But the other ones are really good, too. The first one was actually in, uh, in Prosper. It was actually at Dr. Campbell's office here. And it was a packed house. Everyone loved mm -hmm. it. And, you know, Travis, talk about the experience. Talk about, you know, uh, you know how you felt after doing the study. Go, how did the, the crowd react? And again, we want to do more of these. And how's that like a benefit for CareStack users? So it was fun to do in my office, especially because y'all took care of most everything. Y'all took care of the food, <laughs> took care of, you know, invitations. All I had to do is say, hey, we were doing it in my office. Um, so it's really simple. And, you know, I think you handled the videographer, Glenn, and kind of handled all the organization side. So it was simple, but it was fun too, because I didn't have to go very far. You know, I was able to talk with a bunch of local dentists and teach them something, which I always enjoy doing. Um, I, well, I say that. I hate public speaking, but I've gotten so used to it now that I just kind of figure it out. Plus, it's on something that I enjoy talking about, which is dentistry. Well, look, guys, he's being really modest. He's an excellent speaker, excellent presenter. Sure is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Travis, I want to ask you this. You know, obviously, we have the university component. It's mm -hmm. just, just amazing. And again... If you're a CareSec user, dude, it's right there, right? Why are you going out trying to like sign up for other stuff when you have all this great training there? But Travis, talk about this. There is something to be said to actually being in person and being with people mm -hmm. and connecting in real life. Talk about oh, yeah. that aspect. So one of the biggest things I noticed for myself is when I go to a CE course versus online, there is an energy there's a vibe that's usually there you get more out of it you tend to walk away with more motivation and because you don't get distracted by home stuff you tend to focus more on it um plus a lot of the especially what i would consider the better courses to go to there's a lot of social stuff involved as well there's things outside of the course itself you can talk to some of the speakers you can talk to the other attendees and there's a lot more education that comes from the communal side of being in person too um so I, it's just a lot of fun um i enjoy getting out of the office because i don't know about you i can't go to the office day in day out you know 365 days a year and nothing else i've got to leave the office i've got to have some break and i like live events because i get out of town i get a break i'm out of the office and you know meeting other dentists is just fun so, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think I have authorization for this, but I might just throw it out there. Who knows, right? Um, you know, we're always doing study clubs around the country. A lot of times we like to do the study clubs in the uh, in a care stack user's practice, right? Because right. it just makes sense there. And I'm just throwing something out there. I mean, maybe if you guys want to have Dr. Campbell speak at the next study club in your office, maybe you should sign up for CareStack. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can make something happen there. I don't know. We could do so, a road show. That'd be a great idea. And here's the thing. You're asking about doing a promotion. So we have an ongoing nifty promotion with CareStack. But if you watch this um, interview with, with the three of us and you're inspired to go forward, I'll buy both of Travis's books for you. He can bill me and I'll send them your way. The only thing is you got to make sure Dr. Campbell can have them ship right from the supplier. So you got to, you got to, you got to needle him and twist him a little bit, but <laughs> I'll buy, I'll buy Dr. Campbell's books on, on CareStack's dime. If you sign up with CareStack, CareStack and you're inspired by this Facebook live that we're doing today. Yeah. You know, and, and for those who are, uh, have a practice in Hawaii and, and you're you're interested in care stack uh maybe we can work a deal where dr campbell would do a study club there i'll show up too i'll make the i'll make the sacrifice i'll come as really well. twist my arm for that i one. mean I'll, I'll come yeah. as well and we'll force jim to come as well we'll do a study club <laughs> there you know just 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 throwing it out there um dr dr, dr. wong you know uh, you know dr wong with the multiple practices hey mm -hmm. you want us to come out there i know you're in hawaii and uh we can you know sign up good. Care stack. maybe we can do something there i don't know 
I don't know, Jim. What do you think? That sounds great to me. I mean, we're committed to do everyone's seen it here in this group. We're doing a lot of education. I will mention that the 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 attendees at Dutter Campbell's event, they benefited from getting, you know, complimentary CE. It's not a, a pitch on care stack, right? We're doing these courses, it's clinically relevant topics. So whether we're doing a CE course and Dutter Campbell led one online for us uh, back in January on, on insurance updates. Um, please keep an eye out for updates here. Glenn, is it okay if I plug our champions group here too as well? Is Absolutely. that all right? Go ahead, Jim. Yeah, search the care, search in your, your group bar there and type in care stack champions and you can join the champions group and learn more about the courses we're doing. That way you're not inundated with email, but we're doing education. We've got a program tomorrow night, uh, or Wednesday night, excuse me. Every three weeks we're doing a CE course. Um, so we'd love to get you into the care stack universe. So thank you for this opportunity. Awesome. Awesome, Jim. Thank you so much. All right. So before we log off here, uh, Travis, just like some final words about your experience with CareStack and and not only as a user, but also um, as a company, you know, when they're working with you as a speaker and, and just their commitment to just providing all the training and all this value for the CareStack users. I mean, as a speaker, I can easily say that CareStack's been one of the easiest companies to work with. I mean, I've had a few sponsor companies that getting a check from them has been pretty difficult and makes me not want to work with them. And, you know, it's just a bad atmosphere altogether. Jim usually is the one pushing me if I haven't given him the information he needs to make sure I get taken care of. So it always makes it to where pretty much any time CareStack asks me to do something, a lot of times I'll do it. And, you know, if I have to make that sacrifice to make that eight hour flight to Hawaii, well, you know, CareStack's asking, sure, why not? Um, now, from a user point of view, because that's probably what the people listening to this really care about, you know, it's the customer service is really good. Um, you know, switching practice management software is not the most fun thing in the world to do. I mean, I'll be honest, but the team didn't really have a huge challenge with switching um, because they got a lot of customer support and they always have it. So, you know, I was at my office the second office about a month ago, and they were having a challenge with I mean, something about the fee schedules and how to change, you know, the fees on a code that weren't showing up correctly. So they just got on the phone with CareStack and I mean, it was less than a minute wait time. And the lady answered the question really well. And she showed her a couple other things that usually go with that question. So she kind of preempted. So she was a really good customer service rep, which I remembered her name because I'd get her a raise for you. But, um, you know, she did a great job. And so the team talks about, they call CareStack semi-frequently just to ask how to do something new. And they're really good at, you know, answering those questions and training. So it's been a nice transition, um, more so than some of the transitions I've made in the past. Um, again, it's not like the easiest thing in the world, but it's been better than all the others that I've ever, you know, switched. Well, Travis, I mean, you deserve like a round of applause <laughs> like that. I mean, it's, uh, I, I don't know what else to say there. But, you know, Jim, I, I do want to uh, ask you one thing here. And again, Travis talked about it, right? As not only as a CareStack user, but also as someone who has, uh, you know, spoke at events for CareStack, done training for CareStack. He's talking about like just the amazing experience he had all around. Why is that, again, why is that such such an important thing for CareStack? And he's talked about other companies where it was hard for them to work with him, you know, but why is it so important for CareStack to just not only give the user experience, like just an A-plus user experience, but also, you know, having great relationships with speakers, with instructors and other companies. When you see other companies and they kind of lack in that arena, why is it so important for CareStack, Jim? I think part of it is that when you're a new entrant to the market, you might only get one shot ever at an impression, right? And so we, unfortunately, we don't have um, the track record of some of the larger, more established brands. And so our, we're not like a Teflon, things don't just slide off of us, right? So if we have one chance to do it well, we better do it well in that first chance. I think it's part of it. I think that really is about the ethos of the organization too, and just really having these industry, these industry partnerships that are bi-directional and just, you know, people want to communicate in a good open dialogue and, and also we want to have a good reputation as we work with more influencers, right? Because um, that's how this is a, it is a big change, like Dr. Campbell mentioned. And we don't, we were never going to minimize that. This is going to be a major transition for a practice. And so we have to be there to hold your hand, have local support, have people with dental backgrounds helping you, like Dr. Campbell mentioned. 
um, that all critically goes into just the ethos of the company. And, and I guess we just need, we, you only get that, I, I know it's cliche, Dr. Vo, but you get a, a one chance at a first impression and we better work really hard to do that. I'll say this too, that Jim probably won't say or can't say. Um, I find a lot of it is what's the values of the company. I've had some companies that want to do some CE stuff, but it's not what they really care about. You can tell because of how they deal with the people providing that extra level of education. Like I said, CareStack treats their educators really well because they find it a value and it's, it's a core competency or core value of what I found CareStack to do and therefore they do it well. Um, but I've never seen them do anything not well. So that's, that's the upside is they're not a company that, you know, obviously the software is not free. So it's because they set a value to it, but they keep track of it. Now I say that it's not free, it saved us a ton of money switching to it, but it's because of everything that they do. Um, I think that's a lot of it is just, it shows a lot about the company itself and what you can expect out of them on all sides. Awesome. I mean, I don't know what else I could say to that, but uh, awesome. Mic drop right there. Guys, that's thank you. Place so to end, right? Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That, guys, thank you so much for jumping on. And Jim, you know, again, uh, there's a special link. Uh, I, I don't have the link here, but we'll get it later. But there's a special link that people who want to do a demo and take advantage of the Nifty, though, there's a special link they can use, right? There is. I get, I get, there's a link that where you can pick your own time out of a calendar and get a one-on-one -on -one demo. Um, I can provide it to you, Glenn, and you can put it in the notes maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, if you like after that. this. And um, and please go to the, the Nifty, either the website or the Facebook group to learn more about the Nifty deal. And if you mentioned that you were listening to this Facebook Live, I seriously, I'm buying Dr. Campbell's books for you, okay? And then I'll, I'll make sure he gets paid. <laughs> so don't worry about it. But I'm happy to do that, right? You were going to mention that earlier. Let's do it, Glenn. But they I have to that. mention that they watch this, right? So there you, you go. Watch this, tough noogies. There you go. There you go. And, and I'm telling you, like both books you can use right away, um, right away. OK, if you if you take insurance at all, which someone everyone does in some capacity, uh, it's like literally like the new handbook to get through some insurance stuff. Right. And you're going to get it free on Jim's dime. Right. I mean, we all right. are spending Jim's money. OK, so make sure you sign up, take advantage of the deal. Guys, thank you so much for jumping on. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll put the links in the comments. And we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Nifty Nation. Appreciate it.